I'm going to show you how to upload some photos to Photodune. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to photodune.net. I'm going to log in, hit this sign in button to the right. So, the username is already in here, Tisha Harlan. Password I already gave you. And uh, we got to type this thing in, which is sometimes a little annoying, but. Okay, so this is your account right here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go hover over this Tisha Harlan and then go down to Author Dashboard. <clears throat> See this little dashboard tab? That's where you want to be. So then you click Upload to the right. There we go. Um, and then hit Start Upload. Okay, so now I'm going to choose a file so then you have to navigate to wherever your picture is um, so I'm gonna go I have a folder here with all your full resolution pictures that are on your website so I've already uploaded forgiveness I'm gonna go with the next one God's will um, so I'm gonna choose open um, so that'll, that'll upload here so I'm gonna go ahead and title it which you you chose this title um, God's will. Okay. So, in this main file here, you're going to want to click that and choose the file you just uploaded. Um, down here, release form. Release forms are required. See right here, release form is needed for each person or identifiable building in the image. So, if you have a person or building, you're required to to upload a release form. And if you want to know more information about that, just click that and they'll tell you all you need to know about that. Um, I couldn't tell you much more about it. Um, so if you had a release form, then you would not only upload the image, but you would also upload the release form right here. So after you upload the image, click choose file again and find your PDF. And then you click open. And then this, um, you would it actually have a second option to select that PDF once you've uploaded that. So we've got the title, we've got the picture, we don't need a release form for this. Um, so then you hit create item submission. Um, so it'll take a little while for them to process it, for them to review it before they put it on the website. Um, so that's that. Uh, so then if you wanted to do another one, you just click start upload and do it all again. So if you have any questions, let me know.